Hey love, so today we're going to create this bejeweled skull. This is probably going to be my only Halloween tutorial this year, sadly. But anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, it's actually really, really easy. You are in the right place, so just keep on watching. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys these first because they inspired the entire look. I just got them at Michael's. Um, but anyway, we are going to apply some foundation and some white concealer just to kind of give me an extra pale base as the base of our skull. And I just wanted some sort of foundation base. Plus, I wasn't sure how intense I wanted this to be. So, we're just going with it. I literally just sat down, had kind of an image in my head, and went with it. So I put on a layer of foundation and I'm just putting on a little extra concealer to just brighten some areas even though I end up covering them up. So do what you want. Do what feels right. But I just wanted a nice bright base to start the skull. So I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender. I'm going to set all of that with white powder. This one is from Stargazer. Use whatever white powder you would like. All right, so I'm going to, well, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm going to begin by contouring my face. I'm just using a flat contour brush and I'm just contouring everywhere I would normally contour, but I am kicking it up a notch, of course, because I know that I'm just kind of laying the groundwork for the intense contouring I'm gonna do for the skull. At first I wasn't sure how intense I wanted the skull to be, if I was gonna make it just like a simple makeup pretty skull or what, but I kind of went somewhere in between. So anyway, I am just contouring all the places that I normally contour. You can use your contour powder, you can use bronzer, whatever. Um, and then we're going to dip into the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. I'm going to use Golden Ochre first because it's just it's a light shade and I wanted to kind of outline the sockets of my eyes, um, my skull eyes. Uh, first with something a little lighter just so it wasn't so intense right off the bat and I wasn't sure what kind of shape I really wanted to go with. I wasn't sure if I wanted it more round or more natural so I just kind of followed the natural contours of my eye to begin with. So now I'm going to make it a little darker by using warm taupe. I literally just go from like lightest to darkest and layer these shades and keep blending and blending and blending. This is actually super easy and I wasn't sure what I was doing so I probably took a little extra time. I just switched between a pencil brush and a fluffy blending brush as you can see. Just layering on the colors. You can do this with any shades you want. I kind of just had this image of an antique jeweled skull in my head. It's just kind of taupey shades and stuff, so this is what I went with. Um, I am now dipping into Cypress Umber. I use a lot of this shade. I actually hit pan after doing this makeup look, but I'm just kind of outlining the skull and then blending inward. I knew that I wanted the lid to be bright and glittery, so I am leaving that area untouched for now. So I'm just, I will go in with the pencil brush, outline it, and then blend it with a blending brush, and I'll add a little more and blend it inward. I'm literally just layering and layering and layering all of the shades that I'd like to use. And now I'm just putting a little of tempura on the lid. Just to brighten it back up, even though I know I'm gonna cover it in glitter. I was like, why not? Um, I decided to use a tiny bit of love letter as well, just to kind of give it a little bit of pink, even though you really can't tell in the end that it's pink, it just makes it a little more red-brown. But I liked how it turned out, so I just added a little bit of that. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go purpley or what I was doing. So again, I was just kind of sitting down and playing with makeup and seeing what happened. Now we're going in with some glitter. This is, oh, I'm forgetting which steel one I used. Totally having a brain fart. Smoldering satin, I think, something. I'll leave it down below. Um, and then I just used a silver glitter from Medusa's makeup. And I would just put the steel glitter on my lid and then I would blend it out and put a little bit of the silver glitter on my brush as well. I'm just repeating the same thing on each eye. Tapping it out, blending it out. I wanted it to be quite diffused. It's hard to tell on camera, but it did diffuse quite nicely. Now I'm just creating a winged liner. I'm just using my Positions Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black per usual. I wish that I would have used maybe my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I feel like that one's a little more opaque and really covers up glitter. Because um, I did have quite a bit of glitter show through at the end of the video, as you can see. But that would just be my tip if you do this. Or I could have used this liner, which is super black. This is the Tardis um, Dual Ended Liner from Tarte. And I just wanted a little bit of black liner on the outer corner and blending it inward. Alright, so now I'm starting all my cheekbones again. I'm using a little bit of Cypress Umber. And blending that with a little blending brush from the corner of my ear to the corner of my mouth. 
So I kind of bounced all over the place. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing, but I was like, I, I knew I needed to do this. So I had this, just, I had the image in my head and I was trying to create it. So I decided to blank out my lips. I'm just using more of that white concealer from Kat Von D and just tapping it out. I just wanted a more, a canvas that matched my face a little more. So again, I'm just slowly adding more and more color. I'm darkening my lips because I knew I wanted the center of my mouth to be dark, dark brown or black. Just as a skull would be. So I'm just blending that. I literally switch between a tiny blending brush to a large blending brush, a tiny blending brush to a large blending brush. All right, now for the star of the show. The whole look was inspired by these little dudes. I got these at Michael's, and they're just they're so pretty in person. It, they don't translate quite as gorgeous as they are, but I just saw little skull teeth, and I was so excited. So I'm just putting them on, and I use the smaller one in the package. It comes with bigger ones and smaller ones in all different shapes. Um, but the smaller teardrops are the ones that I used, and I just put them like teardrops on the top, and then you'll see I turn them upside down, so they so they look like teeth. That was the whole point, and I'm just darkening the edges in between the teeth just so they look, <laughs> I want to say more natural, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> more skeletal, I guess is the correct thing to say. So I'm just using a little angled brush. This brush is just from Amazon, I believe. And just kind of darkening the lines and creating that base for the teeth. Now I'm darkening my cheeks a little bit. I just wanted to kind of start the teeth so I could envision where I wanted them to go, where I wanted them to end. Um, these teeth are self-adhesive, but I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend using an eyelash glue. At first I put them on without it and a couple fell off. So I went back in and added eyelash glue. Helped so much more. Now I'm just kind of creating the hollows of my, my cheeks, of my jaw, whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, again, I'm just layering on the brown. Later I do go in with a black, but I'm just going in with the brown. Cyber somber all the way, man. Um, I forgot to contour my forehead, so that's what I'm doing here. I feel like this whole video is so self-explanatory, but I'm gonna ramble at you anyway. And now I'm just applying some of my bottom teeth. And again, I wasn't sure how many teeth I wanted to use, but I just went with it. I did buy two packs of these jewels. I think they were $5.99 or something like that. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And they had all different ones. You'll see later in the video that I also used some of the darker shades um, as the bejeweled jewels on my head. So again, I just added teeth until I felt that it looked right to me. I've seen some looks where they only use like six teeth on the top and six teeth on the bottom, which if that's all you want, you only probably need one pack of these teeth. But I don't know, I just wanted like a giant creepy smile. And now <laughs> I'm holding them in place while the glue dries and just kind of darkening the edges. Making it look extra creepy. And then again, just darkening between the teeth at the bottom. And blending. I literally, I just wanted it to be super blown out and soft. So I, I, I blended. This was like two hours of footage. I'm just using this Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. I'm using the black to deepen the little creases between the teeth even more. I honestly wish that I would have extended the lines a little bit more. Um, I did darken the hollows of my cheeks somehow. It wasn't recording. Of course, I got lost in the moment, but you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm literally just adding more again. And I decided to put two of the little circles from the pack on the edge of my mouth. I don't know why. I just did. I went with it. Um, now I'm going in with burnt orange and I'm blending out all the edges. So I went from wanting it to be kind of purple or pink, but looking kind of antique to like, I was like, I want burnt orange. So I went with it. So I just, all of the edges, burnt orange, burnt, burnt orange, if I can speak. I applied some mascara. This is just the MAC Giggle Black Mascara. Nothing too fancy. Just needed a coat of mascara before my lashes go on. Again, I wanted this to be super girly and like, I wanted it to be simple but fun so that you could just pick up any makeup that you have at home and do this look. Of course, you'd have to buy the jewels. You don't have to buy the jewels. Um, you could always just draw the teeth on. 
but you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> These lashes are from Violet Boss. They're one of the pairs from the Unicorn set. I can't remember. Again, I will list everything down below. So I just applied those and now I'm just going in creating my nose. I first used my liquid liner from Physicians Formula and kind of outlined it and then I decided I wanted to fill it in with shadow because it needed to match the rest of my face where everything's very blended and very blown out. So I went in with the black first and then I do go in with the burnt orange in just a moment and blend that on the edges. Kind of just go back and forth between a tapered blending brush and a tiny little liner brush, a um, little angled liner brush and I'm just blending and blending and adding and adding. You guys don't want to know how long I spent on this nose. I cut out a lot of it because it was very redundant. <laughs> and now I'm just adding a little bit of black to the eyes. I decided I want a little more definition. Um, at first I was not going to use any black, but I had added so much black to the jaw and the mouth that I decided to, and I'm glad I did. So I'm just using the little brush and adding a little bit of lines, and then I did blend it out with a blending brush. Now I'm just going back in with that smoldering satin from Stila and creating glitter tears. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the silver glitter right on top of that, just so it's all cohesive. And you could put the glitter tears coming out of the actual skull eye. I left them inside. I don't know. Don't ask me why. And I'm just tapping some of that glitter on my cheek and blending it out with my fingertip. I decided it was staying too much in place. I wanted a little more blended, so I'm using this glitter from Sally's. Um, it's just a glitter, not, I'm sorry, it's a glitter adhesive, not a glitter. And I'm just tapping that all over and then I'm tapping the glitter on top of that. And that gave me more of the look that I desired. I decided to just do a partial bejeweled skull. These jewels are also from Michaels. All the jewels, Michaels. And here's the darker ones that I was talking about and I'm just using a mixture of the kind of iridescent jewels and then these darker, I don't even, I guess they're gunmetal? They're like gunmetal and dark gold, like old gold. They're beautiful. I couldn't decide at first which ones I wanted to use for the teeth, but those white ones just won me over. So again, I'm just placing these all over in a random order. There's no rhyme or reason. Put as many jewels on your face as you want. You do you, girl. Alright, and I decided to take a white liner. This one is from Prestige, and I wanted, again, for it to look a little more antique and kind of like lace. I don't know what I was doing, but I ran with it. I'm just kind of highlighting things. I'm highlighting the little tears in the right eyes, just giving a little more dimension. Um, I'm putting a little bit of a design on the one eye that has all of the jewels around it, and then I just put a little bit of highlighting around the jaw. Just to kind of tie it all together because the teeth were so white, I just I wanted a little something something. And I actually wish that I would have gone gone even harder with this white liner because I really liked how it looked in the end. And I was, I'm just adding some highlights to the other eye as well. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, okay, I decided we are good. All right, love, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, my apologies that there are not near as many Halloween tutorials this year as I wanted, but I'm officially moved into my new house as of today. The next few videos that you see will be filmed in my old apartment, but as soon as I get everything set up, I will show you guys, of course. But anyway, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys recreate this look or any sort of jeweled skull. I know I am clearly not the first one to do it this year. Everyone's doing it. And I just wanted to do my own version. So please tag me in your pictures on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all the things. All right, guys, I will stop rambling now. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a safe and happy Halloween, and I will talk to you soon.